So there's a useful relationship between angles, distances, and sizes. And it's easiest to do by drawing a picture. So imagine that I have a person standing here. And I am um, looking at some other some some object. Maybe it's the maybe it's the moon, or maybe it's the sun, or maybe it's some other object. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw it here. Draw draw a circle, and um, and so the the when I look at something, what happens is this object takes up a certain amount of space of the sky. So if I were to look all around, if I were to look all, you know, all around, that would be 360 degrees. Instead, I, 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 I measure some angle. I'm going to call it A. I'm going to measure some angle. I'm going to call it A. And um, and that's an angle. So if it's something like you know the width of my pinky at arm's length, that would be about a degree. Um, the moon is about half a degree, and so on. And the the quantities that are related are the what I'll call the actual size, and uh, and I'll call I'll call that x, and this is really the actual size. And the distance to the object. Okay, and these things are all related, uh, and we can and we what we do is we can imagine. Okay, what we do is we imagine that our object is in the middle of a very big circle. Okay, so the circle. Okay, it goes up that way, it goes up that way, it goes all around the person. Okay, so we imagine that we're the center of this big circle, and the radius of this circle. Is in fact the distance to the object. So that's that's the uh, um, that's the construction kind of imagining this circle. And once we do that, once we imagine this circle, we can then set up a um, a relationship. Essentially, we say that a the angle over 360 degrees is the same ratio as the actual size. We'll call it x of the object over the circumference of this entire circle. So we're essentially saying that the um, this little bit x here is some small fraction of this entire circumference of the circle, the same fraction as a is to the 360 degrees of a complete circle. So the circumference of the circle is 2 pi times the radius, which in our case the radius is the distance. So we simply have 2 pi times the distance. And this relationship here is the relationship between um, between these various these various quantities. And we'll be using it a number of times. Many times what will happen is we will know the uh, the angular size or how big it is in the sky. And we'll know the 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 either the size of the di size of the object or the distance to the object, and we need to find one or the other one. So um, let's do let's do an example. Um, let's imagine that we are looking at the moon, and the moon um, the, the the moon's size in the sky is about thirty arc minutes and let's say that we know the distance and the distance to the moon is about 384,000 kilometers
and we'd like to know the actual size of the moon. So, what do we do? What we do is we figure out the... Um, we, we plug these things in. We're going to need, since, since the bottom here is in degrees, we need to convert this angle to degrees. We do that by multiplying by ratios of things that we that come from the uh, uh, conversions. So we happen to know that there are 60 arc minutes in one degree. And since we have arc minutes down at the bot uh, up here, and I want degrees, I need to put arc minutes down here and degrees up here. And so there, so there's 60 arc minutes in one degree. And so this turns out to be about 0.5, so one half of a degree. And then we set up the um, set up the problem. So we have um, 0 0.5 degrees is to 360 degrees as x, which we don't know, is to 2 pi times the distance, which is 384 thousand kilometers. Cross multiplying, or really just multiplying both sides by this this uh, um, this bottom part, we also notice that the um, degrees cancels with degrees, and the answer is going to come out in kilometers. And that's always a good check to know that the, the units work out. So then we have x is equal to 0 0.5 over 360 times 2 pi times 384,000 kilometers and this gets us about 3,400 kilometers. Notice that the um, the actual size, so this is the actual size, and in the picture, the way that we've drawn it, that would be the diameter of the moon. And so this is, this is approximately the diameter of the moon. If we, um, if we wanted to do the same calculation, let's say we, we want the, uh, um, the size of the sun, turns out that the sun is, is, takes up the same, about, uh, about the same amount of space in the sky, about half a degree. But the difference is that the distance to the sun is instead of um, instead of 384,000 kilometers the, for, for, for the sun that distance is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. So much bigger, essentially 150 million kilometers. Um, the calculation goes exactly the same. We're simply replacing that distance in this um, as the as the distance to the object, and the answer that we get when we when when we do the the multiplication out is we get a size of uh, one about 1.3 or 1.4 times 10 to the sixth. So about a million, a little more than a million kilometers. Notice that because the distance is so much larger, the actual size of the object is so much larger for the same angular size. And that makes sense to us anyway. I mean, if we, if, if you close one eye and hold your pinky out, uh, it'll block out the heads of the people closest to you. It'll block out a car across the street and it'll block out a mountain down uh, uh, farther away. So the, the same amount of angular size corresponds uh, to different actual sizes at different distances. If you double the distance, you get twice the actual size.